Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here. By now, everyone has received the news that evil seems to be running amok over what they say is righteous and correct. You hear evil empowered by the United States Senate here in America when it comes down to politics and the actions of the ex-president Donald Trump, that it still got those that's protecting. Now, what you are witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, is the power and how it operates. They always keep someone there. This is why money runs the show. They keep someone there. See, Donald Trump didn't just do what he did. Donald Trump was supposed to do what he did has done. He was supported with all kinds of powers behind him, powers that we the people might not even understand. There are, there are those amongst us who do, but for the most part, we don't even think about it. But he was empowered. Why do you think those cameras were in front of Donald Trump all the time? It was to implant a philosophy in the psychic of the people of this country. And to a certain degree, it was powerful, but not powerful enough to overcome However, the powers that be had in place, senators, no good, no good, liars, the American people, the world knows, and history will always be able to reflect who they really are. Liars, deceivers, misrepresentatives of the people, sit up there and take an oath before the people on the camera, right before the spiritual God, and turn around and violate that oath within five minutes after they've taken it. Not worried about a thing. But see, ladies and gentlemen, you saw how that happened. The nation says this man must be impeached. Then the nation also was saying that this man must be punished. However, the way the system is set up, they had it fixed so this man can get off the hook. Now, saying what McConnell said after he had set the man free, now saying now you can seek the dogs at him, it really doesn't make too much sense. I mean, they probably were going to seek the dogs at him anyway. But for you now to say that's okay, what do you say to those people who violated all of the nation's rules just to respond to what this man wanted done. What about them? You throwing the book at them, just like you're saying, let the dogs at Trump, are you sending the dogs at them? So they will know that even though Trump <laughs> was freed by them, now they want to punish the people who followed him. They didn't set him free. They just responded to what he said do. But the Senate set him free. They responded to what he said do. The rioters, the insurrectionists, they responded to what Trump said do. That's what they're guilty of, following orders. But the Senate, the United States Senate, they are responsible for saying this man who gave these people these orders to turn against this nation, they have... <laughs> sitting on their headstone, that they set him free. Well, now, which one is the worst? Neither. They were partnership. They had to come together to make everything happen the way it happened. That's why you have the Electoral College. When the power that be does not want the candidate that works against their power, the candidate that works truly for the people, or that they feel threatened will work truly for the people. That There's no camera right before them. There's no information being given out, spread, and indoctrinating the public that change, real change can occur, the kind of change they've been praying for all their lives. You see any camera out there telling that? They don't even preach that crowd the pulpit. <laughs> they don't even tell you that God is for that. Now, because they don't see how that can be met according to the system which they live under. This system, this capitalist system, no system on the face of the earth that exists today can and would permit and allow that beautiful lifestyle 
that's desired by everyone to actually occur? No, no, because if that was to occur, then there would be no visible God over you. There would be no visible God over you because you would have attained that which you were seeking your whole life. Now it's, you got it. There are now no limits to where you can go and what you can do. So nobody got a clamp on you. So they, they want to keep you bound to an economic system that requires you to pay attention to what they're doing. And if you don't pay attention, they know how to flip their script right fast. So ladies and gentlemen, I guess what I'm saying to you is this. What we have seen, I mean, if it's truly, from the time that uh, George Floyd was murdered, I mean, it happened so many, you know, stories, but George Floyd's death, for some strange reason, was something that the powers, the true powers of love used to ex exploit, to show to the world what was really going on, the way the power structure works. Not only that, it allowed all the way from, especially this president, ex-president Donald Trump, from the time he ended up on the scene all the way to this day, after they exonerated him, not exonerated, they just didn't, they just didn't punish him. So, up until now, all you've seen in an expose of how evil works, you see how evil takes over. You see how easy, in four years, Donald Trump turned half of this nation, just about half of this nation, to embrace evil, to embrace uh, lies as the alternative truth, to embrace the advocacy of hatred and racism as if this is the normal way to be, to protect yourself and to save yourself and be able to benefit for your own self. I mean, he turned half of this nation around to be just like that. Now, let's think about him in, turn, in, in office for another four years. By that time, he'll have everybody turning against themselves to please him. Well, this is to let you know this is what the path that you're on, ladies and gentlemen. And anything less than making it right for everybody is still on the same path that all of this complaining is on. You know, we know the Democrats are much better standing than the Republicans for the masses. Now, for the few, the Republicans are better for uh, them. For the, that 1%, the Republicans are better for them, no doubt about it. But for the masses, the Democrats are better for them. Because the Democrats only snatch from the 1% a little bit so they can benefit a little bit more people. But across the board, hey, you still got a pain and suffering out there. So this is the territory. This is the womb. This is the garden that grew up for Donald Trump and all of those before Donald Trump. So the choice before you is you got to go all the way. Being a Democrat is nothing as far as Satisfying the power of love. Being a Democrat is nothing when it comes down to satisfying the power of love. You got to do it the one way and the only way it can work. What? Treat people like you want to be treated. Honor your power, which is whatever you do. Go on with Trump or go on with your power. I'm going with the power. <clears throat> and I invite all of you to come on and go with the power, right? I think... Uh, <clears throat> I'll stop here, <clears throat> and I want you to remember, they said that everything that you saw, everything that you heard, you saw this man, and it, it's not even, no, none of these guys said it didn't happen. They just, for some strange reason, had to support you. And after the vote is taken, the powers that represented those that voted set him free <laughs> said, He's guilty as hell, but this is the wrong place to punish him from. We're not going to go for it. That's what they said. And now they said, like, again, they want to seek the dogs on him. So they're throwing him back under the bus. But what is the damage that's done to we the people? It could, it could be damaged if we don't fix it. If we fix it, 
then it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Everything that we went through, everything that we've gone through up to this date is absolutely perfect if we fix it. If we take out, take this opportunity to fix it, to make sure that not one American, not one citizen of this country is without food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, and to assure that everyone that is not denied any of these things are eligible for it, we require for everyone to participate in the creative process and to make it uh, not a burden, but a joy in what they do. We, they have the opportunity to choose the career, the career that gives them their greatest joy, that makes it exciting to get up day or night to do what they came on this planet to do. Yes, my friend, this is how we defeat it. This is how we are sure that the resources that have been given to all of us on this earth are distributed in such a manner that all of us benefit from it. Nobody's denied from the process like evil does. Anybody that is, when you ever see somebody being denied these any of these benefits, I've said this about 20 times a night, haven't I? That means evil is in the, in the picture, and it's your job to get evil out. How do you get evil out? By making sure nobody's denied anything. Now you can take this to the, yeah, this is Sunday morning. This is Valentine's Day. Wow. I think I'll call this my Valentine's Day message because I don't care who you are. If you heard it, you know darn well you just heard the truth. Now, if you got some love in you, let's show it. Or keep your cards and keep your gifts. They mean nothing. Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus saying goodbye.